Hello everyone and welcome to Emap. Let's find the integer solutions for x, y and z from these two equations. x times y and then plus z is equals to 2023 and x plus y times z is equals to 2024. First, I'm going to sort them by 1 and 2. And now I'm going to subtract the first equation from the second one. So we have x plus y times z and the minus brackets x times y plus z. All this equals to 2024 minus 2023. Now we have x plus yz and the minus xy minus z. All this equals to 1. Now from x and minus xy, we can take out an x and from yz minus z we can take out a minus z. So we have x and then times brackets 1 minus y and the minus z times brackets 1 minus y. All this equals to 1. So 1 minus y is a common factor here. So we can take it out and we have 1 minus y and then times what's left is x minus z. All this equals to 1. Now, because x, y, and z are integer numbers, this means that 1 minus y and x minus z are also integer numbers. So now I have to find the factors of 1. 1, it can be written as itself and then times 1. It can also be written as minus 1 and then times minus 1. Now, before we continue solving this problem, if you enjoy solving math problems, please don't forget to like my video and subscribe my channel because I'm new on YouTube and I need your support. Now, we have the first case is 1 minus y is equals to 1 and x minus z is equals to 1. And the second case is 1 minus y is equals to minus 1 and x minus z is equals to minus 1. So, from the first case, we can see that y is equals to 0 z is equals to 2023 and x is equals to 2024. This is the result from the first case. And from the second case, we can see that y is 2. So by replacing y, we have 2x plus z is equals to 2023 and x plus 2z is equals to 2024. Now I'm going to multiply by 2 both sides of the first equation. And we have 4x plus 2z is equals to 4046 and x plus 2z is equals to 2024. And when I subtract the second equation from the first one, we have 3x is equal to 2022. So this means x is equal to 674. And from x minus z is equal to minus 1. Z is equal to x plus 1. And all this is equal to... 674 plus 1, so z is equal to 675. So from the second case, we found that y is equal to 2, x is equal to 674, and z is equal to 675. And this is our result. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like my video, ring the bell, and subscribe my channel because I'm new on YouTube and I need your support. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.